Hey there my bank bonders. In this here episode you're gonna watch us do our first ever repair pass. So stick around and maybe you'll learn a thing or two. Now to the video. So in order to remove the dog legs, it's a lot easier to do it with the doors out. How does that come out? Uh, huh. Maybe with a little punch? Uh, apparently all you gotta do is knock that thing out. That's funny, I was actually looking at that. Uh, yep. We'll just lean it up against See some of them stripped. They didn't come off quite as easily as other ones. Uh, yeah, that uh, is no longer usable. It's probably from Harbor Freight. Very useful. In there, get a nine millimeter and she'll come out. But deep enough. Lord have mercy. Don't do that. Don't do that, guys. Here we go. I will deal with that later. The rust here goes to here. So we'll probably cut here. Maybe a little higher. We'll see what we can salvage. We're trying to keep as much metal as possible. That's original and it looks kind of nice. So I've marked off where around where I want to cut. Arrows, arrows are important. So you don't cut in the wrong side of your tape. Lucky and I cut that right where it meets, or the rust ended right where it meets. This is gonna work, but I gotta cut my donor now. How do you do that? Tune in to find out. I'm gonna go ahead and say the shape of this aftermarket piece is complete doo doo, but I think we can make this work. So, what I've done first is I've cut off around the spot where I thought the piece would fit. And then I kept the old piece and I've lined up all the curves with the piece I cut off. So I think if I just cut it right here at the same height as this, it'll in theory fit perfectly. Hey you there, viewer. Make sure to like the video so Jasper could have his kitty cat food. Right Jasper. Right Jasper. Hope for the best and give her a cut there and see what happens. Well, maybe we can make this work. I mean, the piece itself is what's kind of doing. As you can see, the replacement panel is utter shite. Like I said, I've never done this before. So if you want to know what it's like to do this from the perspective of someone who's never done it before and watch me cry, then just keep watching the videos. I've never even used one of these hammers before. Add a little bit. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get that to line up. Look at that, dude. That's quality. <laughs> Here's before the flap disc, currently repairing the frame where I cut into it. So we've got the piece fit in and, and mostly ground down. My one piece of advice is don't go crazy with the flap wheel. 
I did that and I ground it too thin and then holes started coming through and then we had to weld in more little pieces and it's been a complete and utter disaster but I'm trying to get it to the point where it'll grind pretty flat and then we'll go from there it's my first patch ever so I guess I couldn't have expected much but this has definitely been pretty difficult for being such a simple patch it looks all right up here I kind of like it just needs so probably need some bondo I'm not gonna lie so after many hours of suffering this is the finished product it's not perfect but it's the first one and if you stick around and watch future episodes where we start welding in all these pieces perhaps you will see us improve in technique and quality right I think so. maybe or perhaps we'll just improve in levels of suffering and <laughs> humiliation yeah so stay tuned for the next episode where we continue to prepare the rest on this bus to one day have a bus that will take us around to make babies in. Thank you for watching.